So instead of removing just one record, what we can do is remove all the records that match a specific condition. So for example, if in this database, I have these three people right here and two of this, someone age 23, 46 and 17. And let's say we wanted to kill off all the adults here. So the way we would do that is we need to delete all of the records where the age is greater than or equal to 18. So the way to do this is firstly on the model, which is this person right here, we want to call a method called remove. And as the first argument, you give it the properties for your query. And we want to make sure the age is greater than or equal to 18. And if we have a condition like greater than or equal to, instead of giving a value in here, we can give another object and we can put a dollar sign here and then put the condition and the condition here is greater than or equal to and then I can put 18 here so this means it'll select and retrieve all the people that have an age that's greater than or equal to 18 and the way next what you can do now is you can have an, the function that takes in an error and the data and oops and what we can do once again is if there wasn't an error we can log this data and look at what we get back. So let's try executing that and see what happens. So we want to do node example.js because this file here is example.js. And yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh this and see what's happened. And as you can see, all the adults have been killed off and just Tina here has survived. So, and instead of this data right here is not the deleted records itself. What it is, is a JSON object that's telling you how the operation went. And this is just a bunch of information and it's not really relevant to us. All it says is like the timestamp and like how many how much stuff got deleted, which is a deleted count. But we will need this to um, pass to our done function to test. So now that we know how to remove a person, let's look at actually completing the challenge. So in we want to go down to number eleven here, and what it will do is this function will remove any person in this. Um, collection here called Mary and we have this Mary set to this name to remove right here so what we can do is once again on the person we can call the remove method and inside this we can give it an object with name and we want to select all the ones to remove that have the name of Mary like this actually I should use this um, name to remove right here and then we have a callback function and the callback function has the error and the data which we found out to be like a JSON status thing. So I'm just going to put like JSON status like this. And once again, if that error exists, um, we want to log the error. Otherwise, um, what we can do is we can call the done function and the first argument has to be an error but there is no error so this is null and the second argument is the data and the data that they want is this json status and then what they will do is they'll look at this json status to make sure that it was deleted to market so that should be everything for this function here so what we can just do now is copy this and submit it. And again, just a reminder, what this does is it selects all the entries where the name is equal to this name to remove, or Mary in this case. Again, I think this should have been taken in rather than hard coded like this. But then what it does is it'll get a JSON status of how the operation went. And if there was an error, it'll log the error. Otherwise, it'll give this status to the done function to test. So we can pass in the um, app link right here and click I've completed and yeah that that's everything you needed to do